Today is Monday, September 2nd, 2019, and we're going to talk about the importance of minerals. Uh, some of you may have seen my seminars in the past, and I cannot stress enough the importance of minerals in front of your pigeons, especially during breeding and racing. Uh, when we talk minerals, I think people expect minerals to be a granite grit and oyster shells, but there's much more to minerals than just that. I feel that you should have minerals be the most important part of raising youngsters. Uh, you can let up on the grain, you can spend less on feed, and you're better off investing in some high quality minerals. I'm going to break down and look at the minerals individually, let you know my favorites, and uh, give you some examples of, of what I do. Back in the late 80s, when I first traveled to Belgium, I noticed the floors were pink. And I'm thinking, well, why are the floors pink? Everybody in this country, the floors were white, uh, some shade of that. And uh, that's when I first saw the Vita mineral, the Belgian pink mineral. Uh, this is actually my favorite, the natural Vita mineral. The other one I like is Dr. Walker's mineral. And it's very powdery and it's a combination of vitamins and calcium and minerals. The birds love it. So again, it's been a staple for me for years and years and one of the most important minerals I feel in front of the pigeons. The other mineral I use is the mixed grit. Here we have the Belgian grit and it's a combination of shells, redstone, um, and small stones. As you can see, they're stones. Um, the grit mixes we get in the U.S., they take granite, they grind it, and it's sharp, you know, jagged edges. Wild birds and our pigeons, they prefer stones, smooth, round pebbles. So I just think the granite grits are an irritation to the birds. I don't use them personally. You may be better off collecting your own pebbles than giving crushed granite. Now this Belgium type grid is a mix of everything. You can see the shells, you can see uh, the stones, the and the redstone, which is right in the grid. The birds love it. So my two staples would be the Vita Mineral and this grit. If you can't do anything else, I would use the Vita Mineral mix and this Belgian grit right here. Another option, which I also use and is in front of the birds all the time, is this mix. It's from Belgium. It's called the seaweed grit. And as you can see, it looks like they scraped this off the bottom of the ocean. There's little snail shells, there's pebbles, um, all different types of, you know, full little baby clam shells. Uh, it's endless what's in this mix. The birds don't desire this as much as the other grits, but Again, it's a very natural type grit. This is called seaweed grit, if you get it in the, from Belgium, of any of the supply houses. I do like it. It's a good grit. They don't love it as much as the other. We just saw the grit with redstone here, but they certainly eat it. Another product that I use is actually redstone. And I can't tell you why, but the pigeons love it. They'll eat redstone over feed. Um, I usually give it to my birds separately a few times a week. The race team, they have the minerals in front of them all the time. But when they come home from the races or after a, you know, a, a workout, they tend to eat and go right to the minerals. But the birds will eat this redstone like candy. So it's also in this grit and they tend to eat it first, but I give it separately along with um, you know everything in cups, all separate. The other products I use the pick pots. Uh, there's a lot of brands you can buy. They come in its own little container here. They're all about the same. I usually buy from different companies, whatever is the least expensive. Again, a Belgian product and uh, it's firm. And the birds pick into it and eat it. And the other product I use continuously would be just the brown mineral blocks. Again, a lot of different companies sell them and uh, they're all fairly the same. The birds like it. It's a calcium mix with, with minerals. And I, again, I can't stress the importance of minerals. What you'll find, um, <clears throat> I start breeding the pigeons the 1st of February. 
and I continue to breed through the heat of the summer and my best pigeons are breeding, still breeding right now and they'll breed probably another month. They'll breed through the body molt, they'll breed through the heat of the summer, through all the humidity and again, no issues at all, no breakdown. If your breeders are getting sick, getting skinny, breaking down, it's usually mineral deficiencies. If you keep the minerals in front of the birds all the time, you're not gonna have issues. And now another one of my favorites, which is quite expensive, is the Jovardi mineral mix. It's like they took every mineral on the table, mixed it together in a pink mineral base, and there it is there. The birds absolutely love it. Problem with it is they add these little treat seeds to the mineral. If I could pull the treat seeds, I'd be, I'd be happier, but again, the companies wanna sell minerals. This is Jovardi. Uh, Vercella Laga sells an all-in-one mineral. Again, it's pretty much the same. There's several other companies that come out with a very similar mix. Technically, you could just feed nothing but this. For me, I have all the minerals in front of the birds at all times. And then every day or every other day, I give fresh this mix, the grit and redstone. And the other day, I give this, the Javadi mixed minerals. They just devour it. So again, these minerals are in front of the birds at all times, including the pink mineral, the redstone, and then every other day they get the grit with redstone, and then the following day the breeders get the Javadi mineral mix. We go through a lot of minerals here, but it's very important for the pigeons. And as I, you know, as I said, you're better off buying a lesser feed and investing in minerals. Um, so I hope if you have any questions, let me know, send me an email, give me a call, and I hope it was helpful. I also have um, magnesium blocks in front of the birds. Not sure how beneficial it is, just a white chalk magnesium block. They use it, uh, athletes use it to keep their hands dry. It's very inexpensive. And uh, that's about it, hope you enjoyed.